Equipment's YouTube channel again. We're here bright and early on a Saturday morning. Got to open the gate up. So I'm gonna do a little current uh, walkthrough inventory update. We got we got a little trip this morning, don't we? We got to take a big old HET over to uh, Nashville for a little touch of truck thing. So every year we always take a piece of equipment or truck or something. Or Kevin does. I do not. Kevin does. It's a kind of a touch of truck thing for the kids and stuff. So. Kevin's here already. We're gonna grab a truck, take it over there, and then we'll uh, do a walk around what's going on here currently at uh, CNC Equipment. Hey, you lost. Back up. What you doing? I'm trying to find a HET. Oh, we only got what, 11 or 12 of them? Yeah. Can you find one you like? Not yet. I'm gonna go over there. And you see. don't like these over here? Not yet. Oh, okay. I didn't know we had to. I have a special truck. You just never know. <laughs> All right, looks like a fence truck. All right, got the truck peeled up. They got to get a few things. Um, Kevin's going to drive my truck over. We've actually got a bunch of stuff to do. So we just got back from vacation yesterday or day before. So I got to get caught up bunch of stuff at home so Kevin's gonna hang out there but we'll uh we'll get in there get the truck parked we'll come back through and uh either do a walk through when we get back so we got all kinds of stuff going on here Let's give you guys a little update you guys know my videos are out a month or two um I do that for a lot of reasons one of the big reason is we just come back from vacation been gone for two weeks I've not had a camera in my hand for about three weeks so means you guys get consistent videos a couple of them every week and you know I don't have to rush and worry around and I've got auctions to go to and all kinds of good stuff so it uh, it just makes sense for me and everything else I'm not pressured to do YouTube or anything so we'll get uh, loaded up here and head down the road all right we're off and running I think uh, Hunter and Kevin's driving a shop truck so we're just gonna park this thing, drop it off, head back. I got a lot of stuff to do. But uh, should be a cool little show. Let's see when we get back, we'll do a uh, walk around and a current update. We got about Seven or eight miles to go. I want to let you guys know too while I'm driving over here, we're going to be doing a uh, meet and greet uh, here in a couple weeks or so. I'll uh, give you guys the details here in a little bit, so stick around so you don't miss that. You guys can uh, meet us in person. So.
right, so we're all set up here at Kevin's little booth at the Touch a Truck. Touch. You've been doing this for how many years? I don't know, a couple of times. Oh, at least. We took the uh, 455 last year. Dad did. Yeah, I was gone. Five Hummers. Unimogs. Uh, Unimogs. Kinds of you know what's ironic? Uh, Look over oh, here. That looks like a Saney excavator. <laughs> right beside our truck. We should talk to him. We should. <laughs> Is this your car? It's got plates on it. No, I wish it was. Are those street, oh, yeah. street yeah, tires? <laughs> I bet this guy went to the Meekum auction. Look, he's got his I think mirror was, here. It's I think all it legal, was isn't a Slim it? Jim. Yeah. Slim Jim rewrapped. Yep. I I'm think telling so. you, next time we go to that auction, I'm going to buy some of these. After yeah. we make our super travel like super speedway. That'd be sweet. Hunter, how ironic is it that Saney excavator is parked right next to our truck? That's pretty ironic, bub. You know, we have a history with Saney. Well, the Brandon County Music Center is looking nice. I've never been in there. You going to go in there? We'll have to come over and watch D. White Yoakum sing one time or something. I <laughs> see so you and come here, bud. Oh, yeah. All the cool people come here. Huh. Are you driving? I guess. You got a learner's permit so you can drive. Legally now. Legally. You're in a handicap, son. Well, they told us to park here. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to head out. I think we're going to swing back by the shop, do a little walk around. Then we'll come back and uh, catch a little bit of the end of the show here. No pressure. Okay. Is that reverse? Yeah. Good job. I better swing this boat around. It is kind of long. You got her. Yeah, so if you guys are not seeing, I had a video on Sandy a while back. Um, decent machines, but whenever you send or when any of their equipment goes to auction, the warranty is void. You know the big deal with Saney stuff is they have a five year, 5,000 hour warranty, but I found out the hard way once it goes to auction, um, the warranty is voided. So just be careful if you're buying from an auction or a second party, third party, and you don't know where it come from. So double check with your local dealer, I guess, if the warranty's still active. So you gotta be careful. Everybody's leaving. We're uh, gonna take this thing back to the shop, then we'll announce the uh, local meetup that we're gonna have here in a couple weeks. You got one water left, bud? Just one. That's it. Nip for me. We had a big turnout. Yeah, they said they Kevin, stopped the clicker at 400. 400. It broke. It broke at 400, and they still had another hour and a half. You to had go. kids lined out to the block top out there? Yeah. Maybe <laughs> a concrete truck. Well, bub. How's this going for us? It's a good one. Everybody left us. All right. So we're gonna leave this. It never fails. <laughs> we're gonna leave the truck here. Hey, I need my glasses back. I can't see. Oh. We're to a <laughs> so uh, you guys see we got some stuff apart here. I got in this thing, hit the key one time, and the it was sitting there buzzing. Couldn't figure out what it was. Come up here, undid the battery cables. The starter is stuck running. The Bendix, I guess, is not engaging, but the starter motor is running nonstop. So I don't know how that happened. We had to disconnect off the whole time the kids are up there messing with it, but yeah, you would have thought if it stuck, it would have stuck when you parked it. We so heard it. We're gonna leave this thing sit here because I'm over it and it's Saturday and I've still degrees. not got to mow my grass yet or nothing from vacation. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get this thing um, back and then we'll head back to the shop. Here. Sale as is. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get this put up here. And uh, we'll head back to the shop <laughs> and we'll give you the details of that little meet and greet. 
All right, um, while we're going to get something to recover I our... wanted to shift and you wouldn't let me. You wanted to shift. Hunter shifted. Why are we all riding in the front seat? Because Kevin's... Kevin's got too much stuff back there. <laughs> and the air conditioner's yeah. colder up here. Anyway, we wanted to let you guys know we've got a YouTube meet and greet July the 8th. That's right. From 2 to 4 p.m. Central Time at the uh, Tell Tell City. City. What? Perry County Fair. I'll put the information uh, right here in the screen and uh, in the description below. Where'd it go? It'll be alright. <laughs> so you guys, inside. we're gonna, I think the kids are gonna race motocross the night before on July the 7th. So if you guys want to come see us in person on July the 8th, um, stop by from 2 to 4. Mr. Kevin's gonna be there. Yeah. Kids, I'm gonna race too. Kids will probably be, I'll be there. Dirt Perfect's gonna be there. Like so office, okay. be office. Officer Hoover, Farmer Chris, some of the other guys. So, what do you say? What do you say? I said I was gonna race, and he said the only thing you're gonna race is how many hot dogs, how fast you can eat hot dogs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, anyway, you guys want to stop yeah. by and see us? Um, it's just a smaller town, so. But uh, it doesn't cost anything if you get there before 3 p.m. 3 p.m. I believe, and I think after that it's just like 10 bucks or something, so it's not a big deal. But. Uh, there, I think most of the hotel rooms they told me were kind of booked up around there. You can go farther out. There's some cabins or something. Um, I think there's a Walmart next door there. But uh, yeah, stop by and see your special YouTubers. Special. Now, what are we gonna go get? Um, we're gonna go. Well, I think I may have a tow bar. Uh oh. We're trying to figure out the easiest, quickest way. We're, we're a record recovery so, service right now. Yeah, we've got a record, but it's like not quite finished and it's not been tested. And I don't know if that's really a place don't to need test our it. Maiden voyage. It's Saturday afternoon and it's 95 degrees. <laughs> we're, we're going to. Uh, if I got the tow bar to fit it, we'll grab it. If not, I'm gonna get the semi and the trailer. And I did notice that the Saint excavator is still sitting there. <laughs> wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be awesome? Anyway, not my Sandy. <laughs> what do we have here in the Wildlife Nature Preserve? Hello. Do you live here? Oh, come back. I want to be friends. Did you run my friend out? Nobody oh. wants to be friends with you. Everybody wonders where I park my semi. I park it with the deer. <laughs> hey, we made it back. That's right. Guess what we got? I see a Sandy coming this way. How convenient. <laughs> Who's driving? Who's driving the Sandy? I don't remember seeing him at Touch a Truck. I didn't think I liked Sandys anymore. <laughs> hey, I didn't know you are an authorized Sandy operator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a reference card, so I can <laughs> <laughs> That way they can take you to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not running it. <laughs> Hey, you're doing a great job. I don't care what anybody says. Thank you. It's all for the kids. All for the kids. <laughs> He'll steer for you.
Huh? Yeah. I bet it's one of them five year, five thousand hour warranty. Uh I think so. More. Good job, sanding operator. He's gonna hit it on the first chance. I done seen this happen once. It was on YouTube. Oh, he had it. I think he could have went for it. I see truck drivers every day smash into us. That's what that V's down there for. Oh, look at that. What? That was so easy. Go back up and try it again. That wasn't hard enough. All right, got the truck loaded up, chained up. We're gonna get out of here and head back to the shop. They do have a concert tonight. I think I may have said that already. Um, one of the reasons we're getting it out of here. Plus, we got all this equipment still here. Did you get her? Okay. Let's wave bye to Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah. Dad burnt the paint off of it that new. It smelled like it was burning down. Tight. Get her license plate. You just put that. That's, that's good. Like that, you can charge by the minute on that machine. Yeah. <laughs> it's nine hours and fifty-one minutes.
made it back. I told you guys I was gonna give you a little extra bonus what was going on around the shop. This video's kind of turned into something else, but uh, we've uh, been busy to say the least. We got a bunch of shut the alarm off. We got a bunch of uh, equipment coming in. I've got like uh, three John Deere 700 J's and K's coming in. I got. Uh, three or four 650 machines coming in putting some undercarriage under this one um, this is a dozer you guys seen us pull the transmission out of that cracked there's a couple more videos coming on up on that you're gonna have to stay tuned because there's uh, some big problems going on there but uh, about all that's happening in here at the moment we got another little 450g guys are in there getting ready to paint We've got one we've got to throw a winch and stuff on. We might do a video on that because I've not put a uh, video out on the 450G winch. Um, a little bit of work to do on a 700K. We sold a customer. This is a big old HET record truck. Sneak peek going on here. It's getting ready to go into paint. We've got a uh, brand new record boom on it. Made some uh, fenders, taillights. I'll give you a little sneak peek here, but uh, a little 550H got in from out in Oregon. I've got, I think, 12 of these HETs sitting around here, 11 or 12 of them. So, if you guys are needing one of those, hit me up. I've got them. Plus, we got one with the back starter over there. And uh, you might have seen on my wife's channel, Miss uh, Clint of CNC Equipment. If you've not seen, you might want to jump over to her channel. Some of her stuff's a little more up to date than mine. But, uh, you know, hold in some old Fords. Those are going to be coming up in the video. I also got a video, probably will be coming up on this um, 450G2. Got some tranny problems with it, so if you guys want to see a transmission rebuild, old school style. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. So we're going to get this truck unloaded. Get out of here. Be sure to uh, check us out there on June the 8th if you guys want to meet us in person. We appreciate everybody watching. Still got enough air in there? Hopefully. Check her out. See if she'll roll. Just let her go. Put your door shut. Don't hit that brake pedal too many times. I'm not Yeah. She's got enough air in her, she'll release the brakes and still roll. How much is on your gauge? They're still sticking. How much you got? No, it's set up at 60. What'd you guys put the truck up for? Let her rip. Shot some air. Roll her off. Perfect. You gotta hook both ends up there, bud. Oh my god. What a mess. Not those. It's the last time I take you trucking with me. You done wore out. You're welcome, bud. <laughs> hey, Bob, after today, I think I wore out my own book. Yeah. It's on a Saturday, too. It's the worst of it. Well, I think it all went well as it could. Anyway. As I said earlier, we appreciate each and every one of you watching. We'll uh, see you guys next time. Hopefully you like this kind of little bonus video we'll put out for you. Don't forget that meet and greet. You're welcome. Good work. I think I got all your hooks. Sucked. I'm sure they're all knotted up. No, they ain't.